Welcome back to Yin Yang TK, everyone. And today we're going to be watching Rioni Kenshin episode 15. So we're going to see what's going to happen on this episode. It's no longer going to be by Yahiko. That was in the last episode, which was kind of funny. You know, finally that he is trying to be a little bit like Kenshin in, you know, perfecting his sword skills. But we're going to see what's going to happen in this episode. So make sure you sync the time of the anime with the time that you see on the bottom of the hand on your screen. Let's go for it, guys. Let's watch it. So it looks like someone's getting ready, and I believe it is Miss Kaoru right there. Yep, Miss Kaoru. The cotton wrap. Might be loose. Oh no, Yahiko. Oh, Yahiko got hit. Oh no. <laughs> yep, Kenshin was like, oh no. And now, <laughs> this is the one thing you have to remember about anime. You always have to knock before entering a girl room. That's just like the number one rule for anything. Because just because you're comfortable, if it's a childhood friend or, you know, just a friend in general or a sister or cousin, whatever, just don't barge in into the room because these incidents are basically going to happen. She was literally basically putting her cotton wrap around her chest and Yahiko comes in guns blazing, just asking for a normal question and basically saw her in a very embarrassing state. And Miss Kaoru retaliated as she needed to be basically wah, a little whack in the head and then Kenshin was like oh, no. like basically hmm? I wonder what that noise was about <laughs> but it was hilarious but I am liking like um this um new type of uh intro and then also the closing one because it is pretty pretty awesome right here and I think we're gonna see more and more of uh the story's gonna be progressing of Kenshin and if they are honoring the manga which I absolutely recommend anyone if you haven't read Ryoni Kenshin to absolutely read the manga because it goes more into depth in the character building and character development of everyone that's involved in Ryoni Kenshin so episode 15 that man Raijuta oh yeah look at is like you really show no mercy as always Miss Kara what do you mean as always <laughs> You're heading out for training that you are. Yeah, to the dojo that I always go. That's right. Why don't you come with me today, Kenshin? Mr. Wokea, that master has been saying he would love to meet you once. No, I will pass. That what I will. I have to chop some wood and draw a bath. I see. Then can I ask you to go shopping? We need miso, salt, rice, and soy sauce. and Oh, and vinegar too. Okay, I will go with you. <laughs> He's just like, oh my gosh. He doesn't want to do chores. It's over with some vigor, sir. You got the gist of it? The most popular around the dojo. It's a mess, sir. Kaoni Mahika is likely the most skilled in this area. That and that Rayoni that's recently started, the Kaime Kashun dojo, has rumors that is ridiculously strong, but he's just a Rayoni. He's likely nothing. I wonder who that guy is, that huge guy. So this is the dojo. Oh, it's like kendo practice right there. Pretty awesome. Ah. Miss Kaoru, so she's very popular with them. Please continue your training. It's just like Kaoru said, so let this interrupt your training. Ah, that's the sensei. You must be Kenshin, the Karin often talks about. Is that the Rooney rumor to be really strong? Kenshin Himura, that man. You wanted to challenge at some point? If we do, it would be a really tough challenge. The loser will not come out of the scave. Mikawa? Hmm. That's the name of the sensei right there. Oh, so he's smiling right there. See, Kaoru, this is why you don't do things, man. I'm just here to escort Miss Kaoru. You should lounge. Oh, he's gonna like sit down. Sir, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I felt that you never bring him if I told you, so that's the reason. 
I don't want to find him anymore. No, to be precise, I've lost e I've lost even before fighting. Oh, uh, I see a young man with good eyes. So I guess he wanted simple, strong sword. I guess that's like the dojo saying, like you see on the wall. And she's training everybody. Okay, next. How is it looking at our dojo? Also, oh, the sensei's talking to Ryo, you know, Kenshin. Looks good. Lots of students have a lot of energy. Oh, I usually don't get even a third of this. The rumored swordsman sweetheart comes to <laughs> all because she's pretty. That's why. I say 10 or less of them take swordsmanship, swordsmanship seriously. Sorry to say this is what has become of the great dojo. Said and proven to be the best town back in the Edo period. That is said, the most pathetic part is myself. Using the reminder of the sword mate to attract students. Mm. And then the Kenshin's like, no need to belittle yourself that much. It helps the Kamiya dojo as well in many ways. With the lessons over here, it does. It's give and take. He's very nice, Kenshin. However, what will become of the swordsman in the future? Oh, it's like, with the major revolution and the alignment, swordsmanship suddenly went out of fashion, definitely heading down the path of weakening or extinction. Having someone challenge the dojo virtually every day in the past, it's like, it's hard to believe. Oh, who's that old guy? With shoes on, no less. Dude, that guy is like, sandals off. Nope. He's literally just pushing everyone aside. And look, he got hit. He didn't phase him whatsoever. So what is his deal right now? And he's, he's being rude. Like, you cannot wear sandals on a dojo. I would like to challenge you. This guy? Rajuta? I'm concerned of the future of swordsmanship. Oh, look at uh, Kenshin. He's looking at him with his samurai's cloudy eyes. But he is strong. I would like to challenge you. Hold it. Rijuta, was it? Fine, I'll accept your challenge. Follow the usual rules. Do best two out of three. Two points is the winner. Mr. Oh, it's like Kenshin's kind of a little worried about him. That's why I'm compelled to fight, babe. Kenshin is very worried about him. Mikawa. Mikawa needs to, like, watch his back right now. A bamboo sword, huh? This is out of the question. What? Utaru? That's the guy, that's the little kid that's been following him? Bamboo. Challenge with such a toy. <laughs> Kiddo. Yahiko. You two are. <laughs> Yahiko, you're not a man. So now they're like bickering the two kids. That kick will cost you dearly. Like, shut up. So, unfortunately, I had no such things as bamboo swords. I'll borrow one. It'd be difficult for Mr. Maikawa in his current state to win. He'll likely end up with one win each. Rajuda with the win with the final point. And to keep it fair, Kaoru's going to be the judge. So we're going to see from Sensei to this challenger dude right here, Rajuta. Mekawa, let's see what he can do. The fighting spirit. But is it enough, though? All right, let's see. Bamboo swords. Oh, oh, it just crushed him right there. Oh, and just hit him right there. He didn't even jump at all. His speed. Did the face not count? 
Faces the valley at one point. Yeah. He missed, but the first swing was the first attack. So, yeah. He didn't miss with that one. For the blow in the head. Blade sometimes slips from the curve of the skull. And it could be killed. You always aim for the collarbone, the fundamental aspects of Asian sword art. Oh, he's hurt. He got a fractured shoulder bone. Call the doctor. Oh, he's, he doesn't want to stop. The second match. You doing this? This is already getting out of hand right now. Second match. He only can use one arm. Hittable. You're already dead. Oh, and he just literally knocked him out. Literally just knocked him out right there in his head. You fool cannot even see your own defeat. And he's basically going to try to attack him right then and there. And what? Oh, look at Kenshin. He basically blocked it. That match is already over. You already won the first two points. You're trying to kill. And then look at Kenshin. In the first place, every man only has one life. And thus, every match only has one point. You either take or be taken. Since the Edo period, swordsmanships indeed flourish with the invention of the bamboo sword. However, because of that, the divide of strength has been and ancient sword arts have been lost. Swordsmanship only gets weaker. These are the times of Laman. Fools who only rejoice in the bamboo swordship have no right to be wielding a sword. You might have some truth in that, even though it's brutal. But that old man got beat. You don't belong to this dojo, do you? For now, I'm under the care of the Kaimiya dojo. So you're that skillful Rayoni. Oh, that's... what do you want? Challenge you to a match as well with real blades. I do not intend wielding a sword to show off to others. Yaturo. Take the dojo sign down and burn it. I was victorious over the master of this dojo. I could do whatever I wish to the sign. All that's true. If you're disaster, that is, I bring it on. I'll take all of you there. And he wants to like burn it in the mainstream. <laughs> and then he goes like, "Don't even, don't even try it." But then he's like, "Do you want to get killed?" It's like, and none of the students will be able to challenge him. Karu. It's like, I won't go easy on women or children. All right, I'll take you on. But this is nothing more than sparring in a dojo. I refuse to use the real blades. Wooden sword first point. So they're going to use wooden swords? Okay. Barely. This is the first time I'm actually going to see him do that. I'm aware of that. But Kenshin knows. A hey, judge. No need. All right. Let's see what Kenshin does with the freaking wooden sword. How strong the Rioni is. Hmm. All right. So he's the big guy who's going to try to attack. Nope. And then Kenshin is really good at dodging right there. Rejuja has speed and power in the swing. And easy to dodge that. Rayoni's definitely someone that's really good. Of course, bro. He's Kenshin. He's the OP of Samurai. Why aren't you swimming back? Can't be. I see. You managed to make it a draw. I cannot do anything to the sign. And what's the point? Something about this. He's fast. Oh, look. The sword basically broke in half. What's your name? Oh, Kenshin Himura. I can't remember that. Right. Oh, so he didn't burn the sign, I guess. And it's like. Now the two kids are saying, my master is better than your master. 
Rajuta is better than Kenshin. Yeah, this kid needs to be humbled of the highest peak right now. <laughs> Cheeky brat. That's not even half your strength. Kenshin Himura. Mm, he's smiling? My secret sword, Anuza, has never been dodged before. That man is likely a fellow user. Skilled user of that. Kenshin Himura have no complaints about his strength. What the heck? He literally sliced a freaking floor with a wooden blade. And the blade cracked too. And it isn't not just a real blade. Something even sharper has done the slicing. This isn't a technique used by an ordinary dojo. Ryuja, what world are you? Hmm, he's kind of... Kenshin's kind of like questioning everything. Kamiya Kenshin School of Kendo. Someone... <laughs> that fun showed up and I didn't get to play. <laughs> Freaking Sano. And then he's dodging. Freaking Kaoru's like attacks. The match was done properly. It was just a one sided battle. If you're in charge of a style and a dojo, the opponent was too strong. Won't be a valid excuse. Right, Kenshin? That is indeed true. Kaoru can try all she wants, but like old guy got beaten. Kenshin's kind of thinking, it's like he's challenging all these dojos. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Does Mr. Kenshin Hamura reside here? This old guy? In a carriage for no less. What's going on? Invitation. I was entrusted with this. Huh? Ryuj Ajuta? Challenged for a duel? I'm nothing more than a butler. Anyway, please board the carriage waiting outside. Now, go on. Well, they're he's going to freaking take him on right now? The main mansion in the pass of the garden. That's a huge mansion right there. You must be Humura. Nice to meet you. I'm the master of this house. Tsukuyama? You're the brat's dad. <laughs> They're usually only called for Humura. Why are you here? They're companions of the masters of the guest. I will not allow you to disrespect them. Hiko has like the same freaking problem. He just likes to tease. He's a brat himself. Yutaro should entertain the other people, huh? But now it's Kenshin that's going to be by himself. Some sake as well. We're going to pass. Huh? What's Sana gonna do? I'm involved in the export of swords. In Europe, Japanese swords are treated as pieces of art and high selling prices. That is why I was attacked by bandits about three months ago, carriage and all. Our master passed by. Just then, it's saved. Yatura has completely come to admire his strength and wishes to train under him. That's why he's at our place, a swordsmanship instructor. So he's like a teacher for the young man right there? I don't believe it. He's kind of shady a little bit. And has he taught him anything? The Brad doesn't look like he's able to, like, fight. <laughs> so are you okay doing that stuff? Oh, they literally tie this guy. Hilarious. But what do you want from me? He's asking. How do you think swordsmanship it is today? Don't you think... It's a little spineless. Don't you feel scant, a little delicate? The weak are always cullied. The fold. That's the law of nature. My style is Shiko Ryo. I seek to fulfill the great deed of restoring the swordsmanship in its name. Why is someone with such grandeur plans challenging dojo? That's true. My desire is the eradication of over 500 swordsmanship styles. 500? It's not restoration? 
It is restoration, but before that it is essential to remove all the incompetent ones. I will first crush all the bamboo swordsmanship, the root of the weakling of today's swordsmanship. So that's why? After is the Shiko Ryu will be the one and only authentic swordsmanship style as I begin the restoration. I aim to have the invisible swordsman style, which holds its own against Western powers. He's like, son, I see. By allowing only a select few to inherit a swordsman skill, he'll preserve the purity of his strength. You are a man capable of dodging the secret sword. Izuna, lend a hand on this great ambition. Ancient sword arts are all murderers focused on actual battle. Are you saying that you're aware of this? More was asking, of course. The current mainstream of the bamboo swordsmanship is the fake one. I see. In that case, you and I don't get along with each other. He's asking them right then and there. You think nothing, if it, it will ruin the swordsmanship? If it continues like this, I am a swordsman myself. I do have feelings of lamenting future of swordsmanship. However, if it's a future of one that where murderous swords thrive, I will gladly decline. I will not deny the basic nature of swordsmanship is murder. However, if it means oppressing others and trying to crush life-giving swords i will use all my strength to stop you he's not scared about that he sees you're not agreement to my grand plan but well, he wanted them. oh we're gonna have a fight right now as that moment you are my enemy all right what is he gonna do like all right then let's fight oh my god that's it that's the end of the freaking episode come on now really I think we're not even gonna get like a little preview or anything yeah we're not gonna preview but all right so like i'll say this um for me overall the episode i like it i think i like where how good pace that the anime is going it's actually faithful to the manga gotta keep saying that because it is and and also it also gives you some really good remastered from the original anime that was in the 90s right and let me tell you like pictures the art the, the soundtrack and also the characters themselves are just portrayed really really good and now we found a swordsman that is basically trying to eradicate all styles of swordsmen that he considers weak because he thinks that swords should only be practiced using real swords, not bamboo swords. He thinks bamboo swords of any kind or wooden sword is just a sign of weakness, right? And he wants to make his swordsman style or his sword style be the dominant one in Japan because he says that that style is the only thing that's keeping Japan from being conquered by the West, right? Since, you know, right now at the Meiji era, we're seeing that you know japan is westernizing so it says next episode that the ideal man all right so that basically ends the episode so he's basically saying that his swordsman style is the deterrent in order for western powers not to invade japan and the moment he we basically saw how he literally just beat the living crap out of that old guy right um but what's funny is that at the beginning of the episode Kaoru really wanted Kenshin to go with her to the dojo um, because I guess the sensei there um, wanted him to come. Um, but what Kaoru didn't know is that his intentions were to challenge Tamora into a fight because usually at that time, any type of sensei in any dojo wants to at least attempt to fight someone that is powerful to see if it's really good strength and just by meeting you know kenshin's eyes he already knew that he was no match for him right um and respected his wishes not to fight him right and kaoru kind of felt a little sad at the moment because she thought that he asked her to bring kenshin along just to you know maybe give a few pointers to the students but it wasn't the case. Um, and Kaoru is kind of understanding now. Like every time that Kenshin is around her and if she's involved with other uh, dojos, they're going to automatically try to challenge Kenshin into a fight, right? 
Um, that's just the way it is because they see him as a powerful adversary that they want to test their strength. So fast forward, we see this guy, Vegeta, and we see that this guy is just wants to just destroy all of these, um, you know, weak type swordsman style that have no place in Japanese society. And he says that the Japanese style of swordsmith or swordsmanship is dwindling and it's weakening, especially in this time of peace after the Edo period, after the, the samurai wars. So he wants to eradicate everybody. And he made an example. He literally just, again, he beat the living crap out of him, hit him first in the shoulder, and then again in the head, and then just literally split that freaking bamboo sword like nothing in the head. And he was literally about to kill that guy. But if it wasn't for Kenshin to stop him, you know, he literally wanted to just capitulate the entire dojo. And for those of you that don't understand why he wanted to basically take the sign and burn it he, that's just basically like the most sign of dishonor and disrespect towards a dojo because that basically means that if you challenge a dojo and you beat the sensei of that dojo then you have every right to do whatever you want with the sign you could take it down you can you know put it in a trash bin or you can burn it there but if you burn it um outside where all the people are, are gathered they basically see like oh this guy beat this dojo maybe this dojo is not that powerful and it's like again it's like the biggest sign of dishonor and disrespect um and then this kid this little brat that's going on with rajuta he is like he, he, he and yahiko are like two peas in a pot they are exactly alike but different personalities or even similar personalities if you want to do it at one point because one is admiring one style of samurai and they have this arrogance about them right uh so kenshin fights rajuta to a draw because if you draw that means that he can't do anything to the sign and at the same time we see that um kenshin now has the attention uh towards you know is catching the attention of rajuta so rajuta invites him and um we know that this little kid is freaking rich. He has a freaking mansion. And he wants to study swordsmanship under him. And now we learn the plan that Rajuta wants to make his style the dominant swordsman style. While in Japan and wants, you know, Kenshin to join him. But he says no, because the way you want to, you just want swordsmanship to be murder. Right? And he says, yeah, it sucks that swordsmanship is dwindling, but at least people get to choose how to live their lives. They're not being forced to be killing machine now it ended in that cliffhanger where now we're gonna see a battle between rejuta and kenshin right and kenshin already saw how powerful this guy is he literally cut a wooden floor with a wooden blade that just split in half that's just freaking powerful so this guy not only is he big but he also has size and speed so Kenshin has to figure out how to take him down one way or another. So what about you guys? What did you guys think about uh, today's episode? Write your comments below. And if you like the content of this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification so you know when future videos are available. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's anime episode, especially Rioni Kenshin. And I hope you join me next week to see the next episode. All right, everyone. Stay awesome.